the Salar de Uyuni is visible from outer space. This salt flat, the world's largest, sits 3,700 meters above sea level. People have harvested salt here for hundreds of years. Just like his ancestors, Elias leaves his house early in the morning and makes his way to the White Desert. Working in the salt fields is hard. I've been doing this since I was five or six years old. And it's back-breaking work, done almost entirely by hand. You have to break through the hard upper crust with a pike until you can see water. Then you stack the salt into mounds in order to dry it. To fill a truck, you have to move 10 to 12,000 shovels full. But this era could soon be coming to a close. The real treasure under Elias's feet isn't salt, but rather lithium. The light metal is the most important raw material that goes into making heavy-duty batteries. This element could make Bolivia rich. Salar de Uyuni contains the world's largest lithium reserves. The price for this silvery white metal, already up 400% over the past few years, could keep rising. Bolivia has already begun extracting pure lithium carbonate from the salt flat using simple techniques. Engineer Marcelo Castro is monitoring the first evaporating basins used in this process. If we remove 10 or 15 centimeters from the top, we'd find the base elements under the entire surface. Salt. And lithium. Nearly five and a half million tons. All of this belongs to us. This time we're not going to work for others. For the first time, we're going to profit for ourselves from what belongs to us. And we'll do it with passion because we're working for our land. Bolivian President Evo Morales sparked this passion. He wants to end an exploitation of the indigenous people that he says has lasted hundreds of years. Bolivia's natural treasures have always been in demand, but most profits from copper, gold or silver have gone to foreigners. These riches will come back to the Bolivians and their state as per a presidential decree. We will make this region a development center for new forms of energy. Morales wants all phases of the production process to occur in Bolivia. Some 650 million euros are to be invested in the project. But it remains unclear whether Bolivia can develop this resource bounty without foreign capital and know-how. Former President Carlos Mesa has his doubts. I don't think it'll work. This country has taken the wrong path. Mesa worries that Bolivia will miss this historic chance if it can't develop the right infrastructure. To develop natural resources, you need certain technology. We don't have enough modern mining experience. We need to combine state and private investment. But Bolivians are waiting for the day when they can profit from their country's riches. I think we'll improve our standard of living for our children and for their future. Bolivia wants to sell lithium on world markets, and large industrial countries are ready to buy. <laughs>